it's really, really extraordinary what they've, what they've been able to do here. This is a, a historic park in Waterbury. I think it's the largest park we have in the city of Waterbury. Um, and to see it come back like this and, and you know, uh, get almost like a second life is something that's just spectacular to be part of. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this incredible Hamilton Pool. Let's put our hands together for the Parks Department, our great city of Waterbury, our lifeguards. Wow. So my name is uh, Jim O'Rourke, and I have the opportunity to be your CEO of your Greater Waterbury YMCA. And over the past year, I've had the opportunity. This is my actual running route, my five-mile loop. But I got to see the progression of this pool being a giant hole to this incredible, incredible cathedral that we have here in front of us. Uh, today, we're going to bring up right now Mayor Paul Penaruski to say a few words. Mayor? Yeah. It's great to uh, be with you all today and to be here. Isn't this just, this is just outstanding. I mean, I had no idea when we were talking about doing the pool and I heard how great it was going to look. This is just terrific. It's almost, it isn't almost, it is breathtaking. So. Um, it's just terrific. So, but thank you, uh, Jim, for being the MC today and everything that you do for Waterbury through the YMCA and for bringing all of these great kids here today who are going to be the first ones to run into the pool shortly. So they, they can't wait. They had to put them outside the fence to keep them out for now. So um, we, we have with us today some of our, uh, our state reps are with us. Uh, Ron Napoli is here. Jerry Reyes is here. Larry Butler is here with us today. We have Congresswoman Hayes with us today. My predecessor, Mayor Neil O'Leary, is here with us today. Um, and following all of the ribbon cutting, I'd like to invite everyone to continue the celebration. There's a free lunch from Frankie's and Two Brothers Ice Cream. So not only do you get to go swimming, you get a free lunch as well. So, And I see we have a lot of our aldermen with us here today. We have Alderwoman Weaver, Alderman Tajaldine, Alderman Salvio, Alderman Rodriguez. Alderman Alsep is with us. He wants to go swimming. He was waiting by the pool to dive to dive in. So he may need a little nudge, but see how that goes. Alderman Nujame, Alderwoman Cavallo, Alderman Hunter, Alderman Mosley, Alderman uh, Zimmerman is here. And uh, Alderman DG Von Carlo is here somewhere, but I think he's working as well today. So I'd like to also just thank uh, some of the people who were key in putting all of this together, and I hope I don't forget anyone, but a special thanks to start to uh, my predecessor, former Mayor Neil O'Leary, and his administration for their leadership and wisdom in investing the ARPA money in the lasting projects like this that are going to benefit our children and our families for years to come. This is what that kind of money was intended for. I want to thank the city's ARPA management team, Mike LeBlanc and Sarah Gary, for shepherding this through. The Waterbury Development Corporation, Ron Casella, Tommy Hyde, Tom uh, Favazzo, Kenny Russo, and Mancy Doshi for all of the work they did to bring this to fruition. Um, our terrific Department of Public Works, who has been part of this from the beginning, uh, Dave Simpson, Mark Lombardo, John Kohler, and John McCall. Montagno Construction Management Team and the SLR Design Team who designed all of this and made it all come together. The Park Board and the Board of Public Works for the city who worked so hard on all of this as well. So thank you to all of you. And I want to... And I want to thank all of you for coming out on this beautiful Saturday afternoon 
and we were initially scheduled to do this yesterday, but Congresswoman Hayes couldn't be here, so we moved it. Somehow she knew the weather was going to be better today, so thank you, Congresswoman Hayes, for this beautiful day. <laughs> Today we not only cut the ribbon on this completely new and improved pool at Hamilton Park, but we are also going to celebrate the completion of eight playscapes that have been installed at our city parks throughout Waterbury. The posters are these all along the fence, so take a look at those because in addition to this, that work has also been completed. There's new play structures at Town Plot Park, Lower Murray, Sloping Acres, Martin Luther King Jr., John Coe, River Baldwin, Rec Center Park, Washington Park, and Bucks Hill. And as you're going to see from those photos, they were designed and installed at each one of these parks with a total investment of just over $4.3 million. And in addition to the new playscapes, these eight parks receive renovations to fencing, sidewalks, drainage, and the landscaping in and around the pools, or in and around the parks. For this new pool, Nearly $9 million was invested to demolish the existing pool and pool house, construct the new pool, the pool house, this beautiful promenade area, and all of the electrical, mechanical, and plumbing that's around here. It also included the site improvements, like the landscaping that you see. And if you just take a look down here, it just I can't help but thinking how much this looks like we're on a country club right now, just looking down a fairway. It is unbelievable. The new electrical and mechanical and uh, plumbing that was put in, uh, solar panels, cameras, lighting, uh, and special attention was paid to establishing a design for a pool that increased safety and made the pool accessible for all. The beach entry includes a wheelchair ramp and what I expect to be the most popular area, the kiddie pool, where parents can sit with their kids on the edge while their toddlers splash around safely. And the mechanicals for this pool are state-of-the-art and smartly designed for ease of maintenance and uh, simplified upkeep. So after the program is over, please say, take some time, wander through the pool house, tour the house, and stop in and see uh, the filtering system and all of the mechanicals. As I mentioned before, funding for all of these projects came from the American Rescue Plan Act at a stimulus package fund, which was truly once in a generation funding. Uh, many cities across the country decided to invest this money in the programs, but here in Waterbury, under the leadership of Mayor O'Leary and the Board of Aldermen, the decision was made to invest this money into our aged infrastructure with an emphasis on benefiting our city's children and families for generations to come. Um, and I think it's worth pointing out that the city's other two outdoor pools, Washington Park and Fulton Park, are in the process of a complete overhaul. They're going to be just as nice as this one, and they're going to be ready for use by next summer. Uh, Fulton Park's investment is made possible through the work of our very own Congresswoman Johanna Hayes, who secured $4 million in congressional direct spending grants to make that possible. Thank you, Congresswoman Hayes. And she also, and she's going to steal the show because she has kids with her. Look at this. See, she knows what she's doing. <laughs> She also, <laughs> she also recently secured $850,000 for the pedestrian safety and streetscape improvements to the park, which can be used to complete the design work to permanently close Hamilton Park Road and establish a new entrance, entrance at the East Main Street, uh, a new entrance gate at the East Main Street entrance at a 25-car parking lot on Hamilton Park Road, in addition to the paved multi-use trails and physical visual beautification upgrades. So thank you, Congresswoman Hayes, for everything you do and for fighting for Waterbury and particularly for our young people. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to turn it over to our state reps and have them come up and say a few words. So I know we have uh, Representative Napoli, Representative Butler, and Representative Reyes is here somewhere as well. So come on up. All right, well, I want to say this is something that all of Waterbury should be proud of. This is gorgeous. I can't remember when something like this has been built recently. This is gorgeous. And just because it's here at Hamilton Park shouldn't mean that the whole city shouldn't be proud and endorse it. I, I couldn't believe it. When I first walked in and saw it, it was like a country club here. <laughs> it really was, it gives that feel. But I just wanted to say that, you know, it's things like this that should make us all feel proud of Waterbury. Because I do. Um, and uh, I can't wait to see the other pools open up. And uh, we're going to be there to help out wherever we can. So just know that, uh, that we're going to do the best we can to support all these initiatives. And I can't wait to go visit all the parks. So thank you, Mayor, the Park Board, um, all the men. Great job.
Good afternoon. I'm honored to be here. And this is a great example of what happens when, when local and state and federal government works together. And it's also a real uh, commitment for the city of Waterbury to make this kind of investment. It says a lot about what Waterbury believes in. And Waterbury believes, believes in making sure that our children have the best quality of life, the best amenities, and the best services here in Waterbury. So we are so honored to be here. And thank you for all of you who made this happen. Thank you, Representative. Thank you, Representative. Good afternoon, everybody. Representative Reyes from the 75th District. It is my honor and privilege. I'm so excited because this is such a big deal for the city of Waterbury. This is a great investment. Mayor O'Leary, thank you for your vision. The aldermen, thank you very much for doing this. The city of Waterbury is going to benefit from a great quality of life experience for all children and their families in the future. This is a great investment. God bless you all. Thank you very much. At this time, I'd like to bring to the podium a great friend, our great former mayor, Mr. Mayor O'Leary. Please come on up. Hi, everyone. It's good to see you without a suit and tie and a long sleeve shirt. Um, I'm going to keep my uh, comments really brief, but uh, obviously, Mr. Mayor, thank you for uh, your continued vision on what we started uh, almost five years ago now, uh, right here in this very park. Uh, special thanks, of course, to the uh, Board of Aldermen at the time for all the approvals, and of course our Public Works Department, uh, Montagno Construction, SLR. I know they were all mentioned, they deserve to be mentioned more than once, and the guidance and the vision from all of those departments and all of those uh, contractors have made the difference here. Uh, but a very, very special thanks, uh, of course, for um, our federal delegation led by our own, uh, our truly uh, wonderful Johanna Hayes, our congresswoman, who not only uh, supported this project from the very beginning, uh, watched over it very, very carefully with her staff, and then found ways to earmark more money toward not only this park, but the other two parks that you heard of. So this is perfect because you've got this location here in the east end, you've got Fulton Park in the north end and Washington in the south end. So we've got the city pretty well covered here. And thanks to her leadership and guidance, I can tell you this is what makes a difference. It really does. And as the mayor pointed out, and uh, Alderman Napoli pointed out, excuse me, Representative Napoli uh, pointed out, you know, there's a lot of different things that this money could have been used for. Um, we chose different vision than some other cities across the country because we've seen uh, what the quality of life, life can be when you build neighborhood parks and people have an opportunity to meet one another from neighborhoods all over the city, to get to know one another, to play together, to learn together, to learn how to swim together, and to enjoy the city that they live in and love. So this is a beautiful day for me to see a project this, like this come to fruition. God bless you all and thank you. Uh, at this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce an incredible leader who cares about our great city of Waterbury, Congresswoman Johanna Hayes. Oh, come on. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to be quick because they, get, they mean business. But this is unbelievable. And I hear a lot of people referring to this as it looks like a country club. For me, this just looks like Waterbury. This is what Waterbury should be. This is what Waterbury deserves to be. This is what our kids deserve to have. The data shows that black children drown Seven, ti seven times more likely than white children because they have not had swim lessons, because they haven't had exposure to community pools and places like this. Hispanic children, 50% of them have never had swim lessons. This pool represents a culture shift because it's not just about recreation in the summer. These kids are gonna get free swim lessons. They'll be, be able to sign up with the parks department and have access to other services and really have a place where adults are around them who get to know them who miss them when they're not here who look for them when they're absent it creates a sense of community that's the waterbury i know that's the one that i grew up in that's why every year for the last three years i have fought for funding for waterbury parks 
and I have gone down fighting and got not 100% of the money, but millions of dollars brought back to this city because our kids deserve a country club. So thank you. Very excited to see them and so are they. All right, now it's the time we've all been waiting for. If our uh, Waterbury delegation, our Board of Aldermen and Alderwomen, Congresswoman, we're gonna head down for the official cutting of the ribbon. Boys and girls, you're gonna file down with them as well, and you're gonna have the first opportunity to get into this incredible pool. Yeah. 